Good morning, everyone. This morning, I have a question for you all. The question presently on your screen reads, What makes your day a good day? A rather simple yet profound question, isn't it? Because nowadays I see many people looking at their level of productivity as the measure of a successful day. But sadly, the more satisfying parts of life like spiritual development and personal wellness can occasionally be overshadowed by this relentless pursuit of success. Rather than focusing on how much we have accomplished, we should be re-evaluating our days based on how fully we engaged in each moment. So being fully present, my friends, entails giving one's undivided attention to the present moment, free from thoughts of the past or even worries about the future. Being fully present in the here and now allows us to savor each moment, form genuine bonds with those around us and wholeheartedly pursue enlightenment and contentment on a spiritual level. Now think about how much better it is to eat slowly, savoring each bite while noticing the aroma, the texture and flavor of your food and appreciating the work that went into making that food than just to eat hurriedly whilst multitasking with your phone or a television. You see, my friends, the way we engage with the natural world is another possible illustration. Like a stroll through the park, it can be a rushed affair crammed into a hectic schedule, or it can be a serene experience where we savor the scenery Take a deep breath of fresh air and connect with the grounding sensation of walking on solid ground. You see, my friends, when we put being present in the here and now ahead of getting things done, we make room for spiritual development that comes from living in the now. A more profound awareness of life little pleasures more contentment within and stronger bonds with people and the environment are all outcomes of this method. Now in closing my friends, a day marked by being present instead of being productive is a day when we experience more joy, more fulfillment and spiritual growth. So stop judging your day by how productive you were, but instead judge it by how present you were. Yeah, man, a word to the wise.